everybody. I thought I'd make a quick uh, video with the new I2C SM bus logging of the uh, OG Xbox, Xbox One S Series S Series X. Uh, so first of all we need to wire up to the uh, facet header. Uh, I will just display all the links and pictures and things in the description so you can find them when you're ready to give it a go. Uh, it will flash up on the screen shortly for a, a, an idea of what's going on. Uh, so once we're wired up, we're um, going to sort out our system to operate with PuTTY and uh, log the data and see what's actually there. Um, so once you've got that wired up with your Pico boot, or your Pico, uh, find out your COM port. It's a pretty simple process. Put that into uh, PuTTY. Uh, board rate is 115200. Open the, uh, the window and uh, it's basically then uh, plug in your uh, console to standby power and you'll start to see uh, things on the screen if it's all wired correctly. This first one here is actually a working console so I thought I'd just show that so you can get a gist of what's actually going on. Um, so this console itself is, is running, working, has no issues with it. So it's just monitoring the, um, the system management bus. Um, this will flick over in a second to the console actually uh, at the login stage. And then after that, I'll run through the same process uh, basically, open PuTTY again, open your terminal window and um, watch it log a console that doesn't boot, doesn't turn on, actually comes up and give you some error codes. Uh, and those error codes are still being worked on. Uh, there's a, a user named uh, Tux user, all credit goes to him for this. He's the, the man in the background. Uh, I'm just testing it out, showing you guys how it works. So you can see this console here has an issue um, and as things progress and get uh, better we'll be able to nut out exactly what's going on and hopefully fix a lot more consoles. So thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, over and out.